Yeah, let's start it. Um, so, good morning, everyone. Welcome to week seven. Uh, we are on our uh, halfway mark. I'm super excited uh, to get started with this week because it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, a new approach, actually. So, uh, as usual, if you have any questions, make sure to just uh, uh, raise your hands and uh, ask. Okay. So, uh, can you see my screen? Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's start with the scenario. As always, so let's start with the business objective uh, so that we got, we get the business understanding and then start with it. So uh, for this uh, for this week, you're going to be work working uh, at uh, Protex Solutions, which is a leading uh, technology solution provider, uh, which is known for enhancing operational efficiency and uh, driving innovations. So you are going to be working as a project manager, you are going to be the PM, and you're going to be leading uh, a, a team of skilled uh, employees, uh, and you're going to be in, in charge of creating bid documents. Uh, so there's uh, Tinder uh, that's uh, already out by uh, GIZ. So you're going to be creating bid document for that uh, tender. So it's a big chance. This uh, tender is a big chance for your company to grow and show your uh, like abilities and capabilities. So your job is going to be uh, to prepare all the parts of this document, the bid document, and ensure that the document is of high quality. Because uh, if you if you don't know, I, like GIZ is a big company, so there's going to be a lot of uh, like uh, like a, a lot of companies that that's, uh, that are going to be submitting their bid. So yours needs to be uh, of high quality and uh, that meets the requirements and clearly show your strengths and expertise as a company. So. Coming to the specific objectives, so the first one is uh, developing the bid uh, document, which is of high quality, uh, and uh, that sh effectively shows your team's qualifications, expertise, and your com company's like uh, abilities. So you can uh, so uh, you will be using genetic tools to enhance uh, this quality and make it more uh, your documents more clear. So that the second part is including uh, the CVs of your team to include in that bid. So you're going to be collecting and for formatting the CVs from all of your team mem members and including yourself, of course, because you, you are going to be the project manager uh, and make sure to highlight relevant expertise and skills. So you need to ensure that all CVs meet the requirements uh, specified in the Tinder. And then uh, utilizing your Genetive AI to create and refine the Tinder document and use Genetive AI to understand and interpret this uh, do document so, so that it's easier for you to uh, work, work with. And then the, lastly, you're going to be working uh, on assembling the project manager uh, budget which uh, is going to be developing a detailed project budget which include the cost estimate for all projects and uh, all of your uh, uh, like expected or estimated costs. So you, you you can still use AI tools to assist you in uh, creating uh, accurate uh, budget pro projections, which we will be ca covering in our tutorial sessions. So the expected outcomes are learn how to create a big document. Uh, learn how to include CVs for proposal, uh, uh, learn how to assemble project budget, and uh, learn how to use uh, Genetive AI to draft a bid document. So, uh, uh, this week, we are, uh, we are from this week onward, we, we are going to uh, only be having the final submissions. We're not go going to be having uh, the interim submissions, which uh, uh, for this week, especially if uh, I believe there's a holiday, plus uh, we want uh, it to be easier. So, 
uh, Friday, you're going to be submitting your final SAS submission on 8 p.m. UTC. Uh, and right now, we are ha having the challenge introduction. So yeah, is it clear so, so far before we jump into the tasks, guys? OK. Uh, is it clear? I got one. OK. Yes. Uh, OK. So uh, let's get started with the tasks. So for task one, you're going to be developing the bid document. So the first thing you need to do is understand uh, the term of reference, which is provided here. So the term of reference actually holds most, if not all, of the requirements that you need to fulfill uh, while preparing your bid document. So everything you, you, you need to actually uh, like participate in the uh, or create your bid document or participate in the Tinder is actually uh, like right here, included here, including the invitation letter. Uh, and of course, uh, we already have actually uh, supplied the price schedule and so on. So uh, uh, like the declaration of uh, eligibility, uh, uh, service contract drafts, but the main thing is the term of reference that you need to uh, like lo look into first. Plus, uh, action requirements of uh, GIZ is also another thing. Plus, general terms and conditions. But you, uh, uh, like I believe, we have a session in the afternoon, so you will get to understand what they mean. But the first thing you need to do is uh, review the term of reference document and understand what's needed. Uh, like the key experts uh, that you need and so on and so on to prepare your bid do document uh, and identify the key projects uh, the, the project is key objectives uh, what's expected to be delivered and the evaluation criteria understand that the application uh, requirements from the uh, like application requirements so here you you, you will find what's required uh, from the application but it's uh, you can use this as a guide to prepare your um, bid document uh, and go through each document uh, that's uh, already provided here in order to understand and get uh, the scope of the work uh, the what's expected to be delivered and the deadlines uh, and required expertise and team roles and compliance with the GIZ uh, procedure and regulations and evaluation reads. So that's step one. Then the second step is uh, drafting the bid document. You can use, of course, uh, AI for this one. So you can uh, use Genetive AI to help you draft this uh, bid do document. We have actually uh, provided a suggested, a suggested uh, like, document structure which starts from the executive summary which provides an uh, overview of the uh, project source solution focusing on your expertise how and how you plan to meet this project's need so we have uh, included a, an example prompt that you you can use so uh, from here you can include the uh, term of reference and your business objective here, and it will produce the executive summary uh, and the project plan, which shows uh, the detailed project phase, milestones, uh, like timelines, and your just roadmap in order to, uh, which will ha help you outline your uh, like timeline, uh, which you uh, like plan to hit each uh keystone milestones and accomplish the uh project so you can use uh, this prompt again in order to use or to create the project plan and third the methodology and approach is uh, the third point which de describes your uh, approach technically and methodologies which will help you uh, ensure to reflect the outlined uh uh, like co content from the term of reference, chapter three. You can see it here on chapter three, it's required, uh, I believe, yeah, 
here the technical me methodological concept so you, you need you'll be uh, working on this part uh, on the methodology and approach you can use ai for this one as well uh, and team qualification uh, and uh, previous experience of course and risk management plan financial proposal uh, and yeah so this is the, the last uh, like uh, point of the uh, structure so you, you you can use generative AI for drafting and refinement so once you create all of these uh, points or structure by you using the specific prompts you can bring them to, together uh, by using AI and uh, create your uh, like bit reference uh, draft or re refine it yeah okay uh, before we move to task two is it clear okay yes casa okay thank you for your uh, good presentation uh, maybe my question is when we are going to prepare the tor or some bit for example if we are going to prepare the tor no. uh, i think you show us the sample of giz so can we select any other of topics no 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 the tor is already submitted or the tor the tor is uh, already submitted by giz you are preparing the bit so uh, there's a tinder that's uh, like available by, or that's gi given by uh, giz so you are yeah. companies that's uh, planning to participate in the bid the, in the tinder so you are preparing that bid so you are not so preparing our, refer the, our uh, reference is that you are of giz not reference uh that we are going to use as the sample yeah Hello. 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 Maybe you are muted. We can't hear you anymore. Hello. Sorry. Yeah, I think my uh, contraction broke down. Okay. Sorry. Let me just share my screen again. Okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. So, uh, as I was saying, so your company is uh, actually. Uh, Project so solution so there's a bit there's a tinder so uh, maybe if you don't know uh, like the term tinder so uh, like in America yeah. so uh, there's a tinder that's uh, like already out by the company GIZ and you want to participate so there is a term of uh, the tinder right the term of reference is just there to uh, help you or uh, like uh, tell you what the Tinder, Tinder is all, all about, uh, what's expected from you, what the project is all, all about, and uh, the timelines, the uh, like the expertise you need, and the cost, and so on and so on, just to help you uh, to prepare your bid do document. So you're gonna be submitting your bid to the GIZ, to the company. And if you win, you're going to be work, 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 uh, working with them. So you're not going to be preparing the, uh, like the Tinder or the term of reference, but you're going to be using the term of reference to prepare your bid. Uh, is that clear? Uh, yeah, my issue is maybe, as you see, task one is preparing the OR, yeah? Is it? And task two is no. preparing bit. Task one is uh, pre developing bit. 
So understanding. Well, you mean step one is understanding, not preparing. Okay. okay sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So understanding the term of reference and bid requirement. Okay. So the task is uh, de de developing your bid. Yes. Okay. I think there was a question. Uh, so uh, yes, Tarifa. Okay. Thank you. So in this case, for this uh, particular case, are we going to suppose ourselves as a suppliers for the company, like based on the requirement? I mean, the TOR that is already provided by the company, we need to follow that steps and then prepare the bid. So in this case, we are a suppliers, right? If I understand it. Yes, Thank of you. course, of course. Yes, you're gonna be uh, like suppliers or you're gonna be, uh, if it is service based, you uh, like supplier is if it is uh, like product based, right? If they are yeah, providing the some materials or like that ones. Yes. Maybe if it's construction, we can be a contractor. So yes. the IZD is calling for a bid for contractor or suppliers. So we are yes. in behalf of supplier or contractor. Yes. So you are uh, you are like participating the, in the bid as a supplier. Yes. Yeah. yeah okay uh, good questions uh, so here uh, we are preparing the bid response for the tinder uh, floated by gis yes i think the confusion is preparing a bid based on the tr versus preparing a bid response to the bid no uh, you are uh, you are going to be preparing the bid based on the tr not preparing a bid response to a bid how we uh, you're going to be preparing the bid based on the TOR, and we have actually supplied all of this. Uh, so in international uh, Tinder, you're going to be seeing uh, the price structure since that is uh, very much similar with, with this one. So uh, you're going to start with the invitation later, which is just uh, inviting you to prepare or to participate in the uh, bid and the end of the bid, uh, like when is the service delivered and the contract award information and so on and so on. So here, uh, like and uh, all of the uh, price or sorry, all of the do do uh, documents that is provided by the GIZ and so on. Uh, so you will see something that's sim similar with this one. So the first thing you need to see is the term of reference, which tells you what's expected, the timeline, the uh, experts that are uh, like required for the, the, the project and so on and so on. So you're going to be preparing the bid based on uh, like this uh, TOR, but it's not limited to this TOR, uh, to this document only. So you, you're going to be uh, like, uh, I think we have mentioned it here so you're going to be uh, looking at the tor mainly but uh, you could be uh, we will see uh, how others uh, how other uh, like uh, documents are going to be used so here you're going to be using the price schedule in order to uh, prepare your financial proposal which we have already uh, like uh, here provided also so yeah, you're gonna be preparing the bid based on the TOR. Uh, is that clear, Howie? Okay. Uh, like, were there any questions prior uh, before we lost co connection? I don't see them here. So, if you have, please. If there was, please uh, like send send them again or ask. Uh, again okay moving to task two so the task two uh, is generating the team cv so one of the requirements that you will find here uh, is the list of um, expertise so what what is their uh, qualification their soft skill and so on and so on so uh, what you're going to do here is uh, use ai to generate cvs uh, so uh, since like we just made up the company, 
there is no uh, there is no team right so you're going to be assuming that you have a team that uh, fits this uh, requirement and you're going to be preparing the cvs for them so you're going to be using generative ai uh, to generate cvs for the team members and make sure that it aligns with a term of reference and make sure team designs on the skills and qualification and relevant projects so uh, just to have the guidance on how to use ai to generate uh cvs you can start with understanding the requirements go to the uh, tor that's provided by giz and uh, identify the required qualifications and expertise uh, for each role and create uh, which includes like crisis management, uh, health diagnostics, and uh, public health, along with some specific knowledge uh, of African Union's uh, health, in health initiatives. So, uh, the second thing, after you identify uh, like which roles you need to create the service for, you're going to be using AI to draft uh, the CV. So uh, here we have uh, included uh, like the uh, example prompt, so you which you, you can use. So using the term of reference, uh, specifically here, uh, the TOR content, you can generate CVs. Uh, can you generate CVs for the company, team members, ensuring that uh, you highlight the team's expertise, crisis ma management, in crisis management, health diagnosis, and public health, and so on. So after you join the CVs, make sure to go through them and uh, make sure that they include uh, these parts. So professional summary, key projects, certifications, and uh, educations, and qualifications, language spoken, and regional expertise, and achievement in the leadership. So by using we have already included example prompts which you you can use to join it individually or you you can just give it the structure and ask the generative i or the llm to generate the cvs uh, by using that structure so the second part is refining and personalizing the cv uh, and formatting and making some edits uh yeah so i believe uh we have seen how, uh, like, how we can uh, find out uh, how, uh, like, whether or not a content is AI generated or not. So, and how we can make edits in order to make them human like, right? So, you can use that knowledge here and, uh, like, refine and personalize the CVs and uh, for format and edit them. So, this is easier. Plus, we have uh, included the uh, uh for example prompts in the bullet points that's uh that's expected here so is that clear guys before we move to the next one okay good okay in that case let's move to task three which is uh, assembling the project uh the project budget with ai so the first tip the first thing that you need to do is budget breakdown by using ai which you can use ai for or you can use uh, you can do it on your own uh so you can use ai to generate the entire the entire project uh, budget pro, uh, breakdown categorize the cost into personal travel equipment and overhead and so on uh, by uh, like fo following what's li listed here. So uh, cost requirement, you have say you, you can uh, go here and see it. Uh, so by using that as a, as a reference, you can use AI in order to help you with uh, the cost breakdown. So we actually have included the example prompt here. So based on the term of reference of the African Union Crisis and Pandemic Prevention Project. So this is the, the name of the uh, the project. Uh, it's initialized by African Union, and you gonna be uh, you you can ask it to generate a complete cost breakdown, and you will uh, actually pass the uh, chapter five of 
the term of reference, which is cost requirement. So uh, a line of assignment, uh, assignment of per personal and travel expense. So here, everything is uh, included that you need to get started with. So you're going to be, after that, you're going to be using AI for uh, financial forecasting. Uh, and we actually have uh, used or included an example prompt that you can use in order to do that as well. Yeah. And then, of course, review the generated budget and create uh, the budget in a spreadsheet. We have actually included the template that you need to use. So this is actually uh, like given by GIZ. Uh, when they like give you the Tinder do do document, this is also included. Yeah, so that's going to be it. Um, any quick qu uh, questions before we move to uh, the due dates and the deliverables? Or is it clear? Yes, Tony. Okay, so um, is it is it okay if we can just go over that tax three, the requirement right there, please? The requirement? Yeah, for the tax three, the, the, I mean the steps. Oh, so uh, the first thing, thing is the budget breakdown. So it's not the requirement, it's just, it's just steps to help you achieve the project, to forecast the project the, uh, budget. So the first thing, thing is you need to break down the budget by using AI or you can do it on your own uh, if uh, if you want. And then you're going to be using AI to help you in the financial forecasting. So you need to like when you uh, uh, like enter a bid or enter a Tinder and uh, submit your bid, you're going to be submitting uh, your financial for forecasts, right? What you uh yeah like the amount of money that you are going to be requ requesting so yeah that's uh like just to uh account for cost fluctuations and uh like the market fluctuations and such like inflations travel expense increase and uh, like currency fluctuations uh and so on and so on so you will need to uh, like uh, take into these things into account when preparing your financial for, uh, like uh, like the, the budget breakdown right so you will use ai in order to help you with the financial forecasting by uh, taking these things into account so after that you're gonna just review it uh, because the as we have seen uh, like AI does make a lot of mistakes, uh, so you need to review it before you submit it, and uh, you can uh, like put it into the uh, like the price schedule that's provided by GIZ here. So you will have a session on how to do it. So uh, I th I believe you will be more clear there. But uh, like what you need to do step wise is included here. Yes. Okay, Tony, was that clear? Sure, it was. It is. It is so clear. Thank you. Okay. Any other quick, quick questions, guys? Uh, or is it clear? Yes, Tara. Yeah, thank you. Just to be clear, I mean, the the difference between the titles that the, that uh, uh, this the bid and also the what we call it. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, oh, just I forgot it, the term what we are talking about, is like uh, tender, 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 tender yeah, and okay. bid. Is yeah. it bid is a, the, the document of tender or or the bid is what the difference between these two terms? Like? Can we so, say that bid yeah. is a document for tender? Yes, bid is what you prepare in order to, to in order to participate in the Tinder. So uh, you can uh, like view Tinder as a promotion, 
right? So you will see it on TV, you will hear it on radios, and so on and so on. So there, there is a promotion for a Tinder. If you want to participate, please prepare your bid. And uh, like uh, here, I believe in this document, you can find it. Oh, sorry. Here in this do document, you, you can see uh, like the invitation to submit a bid. So what you submit is a bid. What you prepare is a bid. The Tinder is, you, you can view it as a, a promotion, like, uh, like what shall I call it? Um, okay, like in our work, it's uh, which is uh, just a promotion for the Tinder. If you want to participate in it, you can. And, but the bid is if you are interested and you want to participate, uh, what you prepare. Uh, for that bit, oh, sorry, for that Tinder, it's called the bit. Uh, is that clear, Tarafa? Yeah, sure, thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, like, were, were, were there any other questions? Okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, so let's get to the submission. So as I have mentioned earlier on the introduction, uh, so we're not going to be having, uh, yes. Uh, okay, was our question, uh, there he is. Yes, it will be uploaded in two to three hours from now, from the end of the session. Now, uh, okay, so, as I have said earlier, uh, like we're not going to be having interim submission. So we are just, we are only going to be having the final submission. So the final submission is going to be including, uh, or you're expected to include all of the submission, all of the tasks, uh, uh, which is going to be a report in PDF format. So um, uh, what you need to, uh, include is actually uh, here it's included here so for task one you need to complete the bit documents what you need to include is uh, a fully developed uh, bit document that you have created in task one which should include the executive summary project plan methodology um, team qualification uh, previous experience risk management and of course the final the financial proposal so we uh, typically expect this section to be uh, no more, no longer than 15 pages, and uh, it could span from eight pages to 15 pages. Yes, Tony. Uh, just a quick question, because I see that we have to uh, TV for our uh, team members. So. Um, just in case you have like over 50 team members, are you going to create CV for every one of them? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, like you are breaking a bit. So um, um, part of the tax there, we are to create CVs for uh, team members, right? Yes. Um, yes. So my question, my question here is um, in case, in case that you have over like 50 team members, are you going to create CVs for each and every one of them? Oh, okay. So uh, yes and no because uh, yes, if if the required number of uh, expertise is fifteen, you are required to prepare uh, to prepare uh, fifteen CVs. But for this project, uh, I believe you are only expected to prepare uh, four or five CVs. So you're not going to be preparing fifteen because it's not required. But if it is uh, if it was required. Yes, you would be required to uh, prepare the CVs for everyone, for every team mem member. Okay. Thank you. Good. Th thank you. Okay. Uh, that was a good question. So for task two, which actually well now, right now, uh, Tony was mentioning was uh, to generate the CVs and include uh, include them. So uh, all of the AI generated CVs uh, for the project team mem member, which are formatted constantly, should be expected. Uh, should should be included here. So uh, we expect uh, one to two pages 
per CV, uh, which is depending on the role expertise of the team member. So uh, this section should contain the individual CVs compiled into one section, not just as general summary. So uh, we have actually provided the, I believe, yeah, the format here, right? So professional summary, the key projects, uh, certification, education and qualification, and language spoken and regional expertise and achievement and leadership. So you're going to be including each of these things for each individual uh, team member, not just the professional summary for each member. And the final task, you're going to be uh, submitting the budget uh, breakdown in a tabular for format and we would typically expect uh, one to two pages uh, for this task. So, uh, yeah, before we move to the last part, uh, do you have any questions there on the what's expected to be delivered? Or is it clear? Good, thank you guys. Uh, for confirming, uh, so uh, for the schedules, uh, uh, like right now we are having the introduction to the challenge and in the afternoon we're going to be having a session with Ikram on understanding the provider difference documents and more uh, focus on the term of reference, which is a TOR, and preparing the bid do document uh, is a session for tomorrow. Uh, with Rudolf and uh, Wednesday we're not going to be having any sessions uh, but on Thursday we're going to be ha having a session on project uh, budget planning with Ikram and Friday we we're going to be having a QA and a session. So you can use these references for uh, further reading but um, yeah this is pre uh, pretty much it from my side. So any questions, anything you want to add or request, uh, the floor is yours. Yes, Tony. So so um, in preparing the bid documents, is there is there a format or a, or, a, or a particular step that we have to follow? Like what's supposed to come first or what's supposed to come last? On preparing the bid do document? Yes, preparing the bid document, yes. Yes, so uh, actually we have provided uh, like the steps uh, you need to, you like you can fo follow for preparing the bid do document. So uh, we have actually included the prompts that you can use to like the first thing you need to do is uh, like prepare the executive sum summary. Actually, th this is the uh, structure, not the steps. But the first step is uh, uh, definitely understanding the term of reference and the application re requirements. And then after you understand that, you can start working on uh, the scope of the work, uh, what's expected to be delivered in the deadline, requirement, what, uh, like uh, how many uh, team members are required, uh, what is the expertise, the expertise that's required, and what is the roles uh, that's required by the bid, by, by the Tinder, and uh, like what is the compliance, uh, uh, like, uh, like procedure uh, that you need to follow in order to submit the, your bid with GIZ and uh, what is the evaluation grid. So once you understand these things from the provided references, you can start wor working on the structure or the uh, like what's expected. So you can start from the project plan, what's your plan in order to achieve or uh, in order to achieve the project that's ex uh, that's outlined by the TOR, uh, what's the method and the approach you are, that you are planning to uh, follow, the team qualifications, previous experience, risk management, financial proposal, proposal, and then finally, after you did this, you can come back to the executive summary. But since we are going to be using AI, it doesn't uh, really matter if you start from the executive summary. But yeah, this is the usual uh, like steps that you can follow. Uh, did I answer your question? Uh, 
20. Okay, this were yes, like, okay, thank you. So uh, it was a good qu question. Thank you for asking. So any anyone else who has to uh, who wants to add or ask or is it clear? Is everything clear? Who's excited to work uh, to start work, working on uh, this week's challenge? The midway. Only Wendy. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Um, so, so that's it from my side. If uh, there are no questions, I think we can wrap up here. Okay, let me just stop the recording.